This video is made possible by North Naperville Autos. If you're looking for a quality used car in the Chicagoland area, North Naperville Autos is here to help. Browse their inventory at NorthNaperVilleAutos.com and drive home in a new vehicle today. All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2007 Honda Odyssey. Up front is a 3.5 liter V6 and down below is a five speed automatic transmission. Now I'm super excited to be driving this here Honda Odyssey because I actually have a lot of personal experience with this body style of Odyssey. Again, as I say in a lot of my reviews, I was born in 97, so this car came out when I was 10 and it's sort of ingrained in my memory. When I turned 10, that's when I started actually noticing things in the world and one of the things I noticed was the Honda Odyssey. That being said, I have never filmed one. So today that changes. Let's get back to that 3.5 liter V6. It is a J series engine from Honda and it makes a pretty respectable amount of horsepower, which I'm putting up on the screen. So much so that people actually swap these engines into Honda Civics and even the Acura NSX once those engines go bad because, well, they're hard to find. But Honda Odysseys, not hard to find, so there you go. Like I said, bear do it. Five-speed automatic transmission. I haven't really noticed anything too crazy. Last but not least, of course, the Honda Odyssey is front wheel drive. So this is a minivan, so let's get onto the interior. This is where the good stuff starts. Well, in front of me, I have some pretty typical Honda gauges. On the left is my tachometer, in the center is my speedometer, and on the right is my fuel and coolant. Very basic here. Again, nothing too crazy or interesting, but it's a Honda Odyssey. On the steering wheel on the left, I have my volume controls and channel, as well as mode. And on the right, I have my cruise control options. I like the overall look and feel of the steering wheel. I think it's decently modern, feels good in my hands, and I have no complaints about it. To the left of me, I have tons of door operations. So the Odyssey does get power doors, which is very nice and they are all controlled off to the left. I also have my essentially traction control off and a couple of dead switches. On the door, I have my power mirrors, power locks, and power windows, and nothing really else. Moving into the center, I have a six disc compact CD changer, a radio that offers Sirius XM, and all of my radio controls. 2007 is before the era of giant screens in cars, so I just get this tiny little readout, but I could cycle through AM, FM, CD, and DVD, which is really, really nice. And I can control the rear volume separately from the front volume which I think is really, really neat and really handy, especially if you're going to have kids, which let's be honest, if you're buying a minivan, you have kids. Down below that, two climate control vents and my hazard switch, and then my climate controls themselves. This is a little complicated. When I first got in, I thought that there was a lot of buttons just thrown at me. It takes a little bit of getting used to, however, it's not the end of the world. I do have dual zone climate, which is very nice for 2007, as well as I can control the rear. Again, if the children are too small to reach it or they can't be trusted, you can control that for them. To the left of the climate controls, this is my shifter. It has a very nice, satisfying clunk in the gear. I really, really enjoy it. And overall, this is one of my favorite parts of the Odyssey is the shifter, just how satisfying and solid it feels. Then I do have my light switch actually off to the left of that, which is interesting. Then down below, we have a little cubby for storage. Below that cubby, we get fold out cup holders. The first cup holders we're talking about in the Odyssey, but certainly not the last. So let's get the big friggin' bottle test out of the way. The Odyssey fails up top, but there are some on the center console. It fails those as well. And two at the back of the center console, and it fails those as well. So the Odyssey gets a complete failure for the big friggin' bottle, unfortunately. <laughs> But moving back to those cup holders on the center stack, down below that, this is actually my DVD player. So you don't use the compact disc changer for the DVD player. It has its own separate input. Down below that, I do have my heated seat options, high and low for the front two occupants, as well as two 12 volt outlets next to each other. I think this is absolutely awesome because on road trips or to soccer practice, you're gonna be charging all of your devices. Now, the interesting thing about these is that the doors that conceal them actually go and fold under the 12 volt outlets. I don't think I've seen that in a car. A little bit odd operation. Before we move away from the center here, I do have two glove boxes, which 
is rather interesting. All right, so to save us both some time, I'm going to be doing today's sponsor reads, hot lapping the test track in my 2019 Mazda 3 all wheel drive. The first sponsor is Fixed. Fixed is an automotive OBD2 sensor that you plug into your car and it gives you tons of really cool diagnostics. Click the link in the description below and you will get an offer code for my viewers only. You get a bunch of money off. Next is con plates. You don't want to stick the plate on the outside of your car. Cool. Stick it out with some suction cups. And last but not least, if you want to sell your car, go to cashforcars.com. Click the link in the description below, get a free quote, and they'll pick up your car in less than 24 hours. Thank you to all the sponsors for making these reviews possible, and that is a lap. Now we got to talk about the seats. The seats are nice and comfortable. They are leather. They've seen better days. However, this is a 14-year-old car with 112,000 miles. I was not doing this well when I was 14 years old, so do with that as you will. But speaking of seats, this is a minivan. So let's go do some backseat reviews because that's really the important part. All right, so we are in the second row of three in the 2007 Honda Odyssey. Now, a bunch of things to note here. First of all, this is going to block out the camera, but this is my DVD player screen. It's not the biggest thing in the world, but again, this is 2007, so who cares? Now, interestingly enough, I do have controls for the DVD player up here. However, when I hit release, I can actually pull it out and I just have this as a controller. So if someone in the back seat wants to control the DVD player or Sirius XM, I can switch between AM and FM, aux, things like that. You can do that and it just pops out of the roof. Then you can just pop it back up. I do have vents here on the ceiling like an airplane. I absolutely love that. And I do have climate controls over here for fan speed, temperature, and where to send it. Besides that, I do like the power doors and I do have these built-in sunshades, which is very nice. If you have young children, uh, car seats back here, things of that nature, those are built into the doors of the Honda Odyssey. You don't have to go to Amazon or pay less and buy your own Klingons. They're actually built into the door. Speaking of the doors, power doors, hit it once, and the door opens, obviously. And then you sort of have to reach back here. There's no button on the B pillar, but you just tap it once and it closes back up again. Now, let's hop into the third row with this super expensive transition. So now we're in the third row of the 2007 Honda Odyssey. I have lights back here that I can turn on and off, vents in the ceiling as well, just like in the second row. I have a cup holder back here, two on this side, one on this side, because over here, I actually have headphone jacks. So I can plug in headphones or I have VLR inputs, you know, the yellow, red, and white, inputs back here which is fantastic so that is really really cool and what i love back here is just the space me being an adult size male that is not small i am fitting back here very comfortably the seat is leaned back a little bit but man i i could sit back here on a road trip for hours no problem no problem at all it's very very comfortable back here headroom even if i sit up fine leg room fine this is why you buy a minivan you don't buy a minivan for all the stuff up there you buy a minivan for the stuff back here no suv not a single suv i've ever reviewed in my over 520 reviews has ever had a back seat a third row back seat that is as comfy or as spacious as this not a single tahoe suburban Sorento, CX-9, Ascent. I mean, pick a three-row SUV. They're not even getting close. They don't even hold a light to the back seats of a Honda Odyssey. They just don't. The back seat of a Honda Odyssey remains unmatched. And I knew that because I reviewed a 2021 last year. Now I know that it carries on all the way back to 2007. This is the third generation of Honda Odyssey and they were still kicking butt back then. All right, we're around the back of the 2007 Honda Odyssey. No power tailgate here on this trim level, but I can fold these back seats down into this section here, which is fantastic. But when these seats are up, I still get plenty of trunk space, which I really, really like. But that is the cargo area and I really like it. Now, before we go back up front, there's actually something that I wanna show off that I haven't shown off on any car before. So we're sitting here looking at the Honda Odyssey, hit it twice and hold the unlock button and the windows, all four of them, go down. And as long as you hold it, they will continue to go down, but you can stop holding it and they'll stop, you know, middle way. 
That is such a cool feature, especially for summers, so you're not getting into an oven when you go back to your minivan. I just wanna show off that feature. Again, click unlock twice and then hold it which is really, really neat. Now we gotta talk about the looks. And again, I like the look of this here Odyssey because it is so ingrained in my memory. When I was growing up, this was the Honda Odyssey that every soccer mom drove. And so when I played for the Park District Soccer League, when I did Little League Baseball, T-Ball, Junior Football, this is what filled the parking lots during the games. So I like the look of it in that respect because it has some nostalgia with me. And of course, I love nostalgia. But let's get on to my final thoughts about this generation of Honda Odyssey. Well, I think it should be noted at first that this was the top selling minivan from 2007 to 2010 in America. This was number one. This was the top dog and it held that title for a couple of years. And I honestly understand why. Let's talk about the things that I don't like. Okay, now let's talk about the things that I do like. I like the visibility in here. I like the V6 engine. I like how simple and easy everything is to use. I enjoy the sunroof. I like the DVD player. And I just like how simple and easy minivans are to use. This is a tool that you're going to use day in and day out. If you have children, this is the chariot. I mean, this is the creme de la creme. This is the school bus. This is the taxi cab. This is the escape pod. And so it needs to be easy to use and needs to be able to do a lot of different things, wear a lot of different hats, be reliable, be comfortable, and be simple. And that's exactly what this here Odyssey does. I know from personal experience, someone very close to me has taken one of these down to Florida from Chicago multiple times and they plan on doing it again this summer. That Honda Odyssey has never let them down and they have a big family. There's just something about this era of cars that just really strikes a tone with me. Maybe it's the year, maybe it's because I was 10 when it came out and it's just hardcore nostalgia. But I really think looking back, this was almost sort of a golden era of cars, 2007, because cars were simpler than they are today, but not overly simple, if that makes sense. I'm trying to figure out, uh, this just all feels right to me. So there it is, 2007 Honda Odyssey. It's a good van, it's a good van. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to North Naperville Autos for letting me take out their 2007 Honda Odyssey. North Naperville Autos is a Carfax certified dealership and they specialize in vehicles like this. Mid mileage for a good price, very clean examples of the cars. You're going to get a very good deal when you go to North Naperville Autos. Their information is up on the screen as well as linked in the description below. So please go check them out if you're in the Chicagoland area and need a reliable used vehicle please go check them out. Their prices are fantastic and their staff is even better. And financing is available, which is awesome. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe. I really like it. Take care, guys.